decided to do about it is remove the um, I first glue all the sides together um, so but leave uh, the main the stern area um, free just because I, I need to adjust the angle and then um, from inside I can remove the bulkhead too and um, just give a space for me to enter and finish the, um, the stern yeah. it's quite hard but um, let's see how it goes I'll just free them some of the screws from inside The problem with this stitch and glue technology is that it's not always um, match the um, match the size in when you assemble the stern. So what I can do? This is the second primer run I built uh, using this technology and. A previous one I just tried to um, match it with the tie straps just to tie strap all of them and that corrupt a little bit the um, um, you know the hull profile so but this time I decided to keep the profile the same so as you can see inside so it's perfectly matched the bulkhead too so I just decided to in, um, insert um, those and glue them together so we'll see how it goes in that case I'll keep the, the profile exactly as it was designed well uh, it's already taken so much time to um, prepare for the stern construction well I make um, a stern, re er, stern reinforcement reinforms, reinforcement and um, just about to um, measure it <coughs> <coughs> so this is um, not for the hockey um, it's for the stern well and to measure it in here I dig this hole rabbit hole which I'm gonna use um, for the access inside because I can't go anywhere else um, underneath of the uh, yeah, let's try pretend I'm a rabbit <laughs> well, after weeks of adjustments and thinking, will be a final gluing today. So I have um, this hockey hook 
prepared. So I can glue everything together and adjust it with the laser. Uh, it's a self-balancing laser. So perfectly balanced, will perfectly show the, the line of um, downsize. And yeah, there we go. Laser is just right here, already um, make this line perfectly straight along the boat, so um, have this all prepared. This piece of wood actually holding the central point, so it's also fixed and a battery fixed from from the down of the stern everything ready to go In there.
Well, that's, it. that's the result so far. And I need to adjust it to a different perspective. But have some bendings unnecessary. So I just add some more um, filament and I'll close it down with the fiberglass over. Oh, I didn't see my over. Uh huh. the stage when um, maintain the stern uh, fiberglassing with the reinforce, uh, reinforcement the extra layers that's what, what we have done at the moment um, so the whole stern done and the only problem I've seen is when I actually glassing it at some stage it starts sliding all the way down <laughs> so and um, yeah I catch I have to call it, uh, catch catch the whole thing and the screw the one um, drywall screw to stop it sliding so otherwise everything just slide down because the um, resin is slippery when it's liquid so yeah that's one of the tricks Go. After filling with some thickened epoxy, uh, just fill the gaps and a bit of sanding just to make the everything curved nice and smooth. Um, so we just need to add um, a fiberglass enforcement to the whole. Um, stern so it's pretty much ready but from the other side I can show you it's still um, not sanded so I can sand it as well and because of the, all the curved and uh, gaps filled now like this one you can see the difference um, so a little bit of improvement and it's pretty much ready.
Um, reinforcement. When you do um, burn reinforcement, you have uh, two options. That's usually a number of layers of fiberglass. You have to do with the step of um, about three centimeters each just to make the um, uh, enforcement move. And on the top, um, I think one of the options will be to cut it right over here, or another option, which I did, unfortunately, to cut here, here, and here. So you'll have something like this.